And we can we can chime y'all can chime in on that all you want all morning. Let's do get into the food fight between the mayor and the governor. I'm gonna play a little bit of Tate Reeves here. This is on Jackson Jambalaya. Uh, go to Kingfish's website, and the the article is titled "Food Fight: Governor Fires Back at Mayor." So let's play a little bit of what Tate has to say. I'm gonna let it breathe and play a few minutes of it in case you haven't heard it here. But he calls him incompetent. It's great. I mean, Tate, I'm going to tell you what, Tate is on fire here lately. I've been very upset with Tate about a lot of things. But when it comes to this Jackson stuff, he is not holding back. Y'all can call him all the racisms you want. Tate is standing firm. And I I, I got to call a spade a spade. I like it. It does get louder. That's some reporter asking a question. Well, obviously, um, over the last several days, uh, the mayor has irrevocably broken the unified command system that was put in place on August the 29th to deal with the absolute and total incompetence of this mayor and this administration. Boom. They have proven that they have no ability to... to uh, managed the water system up until August the 29th. In fact, there was a citywide boil water notice for 30 days prior to that. And it led to the point that we were in a position in which it was clear that the likelihood was that there would be no running water in the city of Jackson. Now, the mayor has gone on national TV and blame that on a lot of things. He's gone to local press conferences and blame that on a lot of things. But what we have proven over the last 52 days is the water struggles in Jackson were specific to the incompetence of this administration and this mayor. Now, what we did when we came in on August the 29th is we set up a unified command structure uh, we uh, named both the Department of Health and the Mississippi Emergency Management Agency as leads on that. And literally within 72 hours, we had ensured and restored water pressure throughout the system to the entire city of Jackson. Less than 72 hours. Less than 15 days later, we were able to lift the bull water notice. Again, running water systems isn't that challenging. It's not that difficult. In fact, there's over 1,100 water systems in Mississippi. There's, if you parlay that over 50 states, there's probably 30 to 40 to 50,000 water systems across America. If there are over 1,100 in the, in the state of Mississippi, and I've been in office now for almost 19 years, if you consider that every single morning I wake up and decide either we're going to take over a water system or we're not. Over 19 years, I've made over 8.2 million decisions to not take over water systems in the state of Mississippi. Only once have I ever had to make the decision to create, to sign uh, an emergency proclamation so as to ensure that water was delivered to the city. And to... And that is to have to clean up the free to land black for a living Democrats mess in Jackson, Mississippi. The one time they've had to take it over was to clean up the free to land black for a living Democrats mess. The press for a living poor people's campaign, free to land Wakanda forever Democrats. To clean up y'all's mess. Nobody else in the state of Mississippi's water system has been a complete and utter failure to the extent that Jackson, Mississippi says, say what you want, say what you will say, whatever the adults had to come into the room. The Republicans had to save Jackson. And I know y'all hate that. I know y'all hate that all the intersectionality and all these fancy words you've come up with to describe why you can't do anything. I get it. I get it. It's hard to look in the mirror and say, I'm the reason I screwed up. It's tough. You know, one of the things they teach you in recovery and rehab and alcoholism and all these other things, is they teach you to, you have to admit you have a problem before you can fix the problem. 
You have to. And Jackson refuses to admit it. They just have not gotten through pillaging the piggy bank. They can't stand it. They can't stand it. I mean, they are trying to pillage this community for all it's worth. And I talked about this the other day on my show. When will it be enough? When will your average black Jacksonian say enough of this crap? We got to have some, some, something's got to change. This is only benefiting the top 1% of this community. But it, but it's, but it's some kind of Stockholm syndrome or something, you folks, man. It, they are keeping y'all enslaved. But as long as the people getting rich look like you, you feel like it's you getting rich when it's at your behest. It's your detriment. It, it makes no sense to me. No sense to me. This is the Clay Edwards Show. We'll be right back on 103.9 WYAB.